Well, as much as I hate to start the year off with bad news, I wouldn't exactly be doing my job if I didn't. So here's a not so fun fact to kick off 2024 with. In the wake of Roe being overturned, at least 16 states have agreed to funnel more than $250 million in taxpayer money to crisis pregnancy centers. You know these fucking things. We've talked about them a lot on the show. There are these places that trick people into believing they're abortion clinics, but they're actually unregulated, unlicensed religious facilities that try to convince people not to terminate their pregnancy. The very fact that they exist is already worth vomiting over. The fact that they're now state-funded is worth punching someone else until they vomit over. Now, to be clear, this isn't exactly new. States have found ways to fund these despicable bait-and-switch operations for years. But since the overturning of Roe, states have become way more brazen about pissing our money away on this shit. And of course, those are the same states that are working hardest to make abortion unobtainable. So they're in the places where crisis pregnancy center victims will be most desperate. And of course, I shouldn't have to tell you that these operations aren't exactly known for their commitment to truth. According to the news story I saw, there are more than 2,500 crisis pregnancy centers in the U.S., and not a month goes by where I don't see at least one story about them, like telling women that abortions cause breast cancer or exaggerating risks of infertility and shit like that. So we're literally paying these assholes to lie to us. And last year, we gave them one hell of a raise. And I hate to say it, but I'm not just going to give you bad news from now. I've also got to reach back into last year and take away good news I gave you then. You might remember me talking about St. Mary's College in Indiana, a Catholic all-women's school that caused a conservative meltdown by announcing that it would start accepting trans students. Well, it turns out that meltdown was successful. The commitment the assholes had to freaking out was greater than the commitment the college had to trans humanity. So the school's board sent out an email last week reversing its policy and promising to keep discriminating for the foreseeable future. But don't worry, I am going to make with a silver lining before me and my dark cloud push through. With a quick thanks to Dan, who sent this one to us at scathingnews at gmail.com, I'm pleased to announce that in 2024, New Jersey residents will no longer need a prescription to buy birth control pills, which is great. But like all good news that we've ever heard on TWIM, it comes with the what the fuck took so long caveat. I mean, seriously, the most popular birth control for men is literally available in vending machines. But the most popular one for women, you still have to pay somebody to give you permission to buy it from a judgy pharmacist who can't just stand at the same goddamn level as everybody else. Anyway, that's what we call ending on a positive note here at TWIM. So I'll wrap up there and hand you back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli. 